Let's find the intersection of these two sets. So we have the set negative infinity comma zero intersected with negative two comma five. So the intersection of two sets is what these sets have in common. So we'll start by graphing each of these sets. So first we'll graph the set negative infinity to zero. So to graph the set we start by drawing a number line. Then we'll plot the zero. And this is all the numbers uh, less than zero. So it's all the numbers over here on the left, to the left of zero. And we have a parentheses on the zero. So this is the graph of the set negative infinity to zero. The parentheses means we don't include the zero. Okay, now let's graph the set negative two to five. So we have negative two to five. So then we draw a number line right below the other number line. And it's important to line things up uh, in order to find the intersection. So negative two uh, is to the left of zero. So maybe it's over here, so negative two. And five is bigger than zero. So maybe it's over here. So there's five. And then we have parentheses on both. So we'll go ahead and use uh, parentheses, parentheses. And it's everything in between, right between these two numbers. So that's the graph of the set negative two comma five. So now we want the intersection. So the intersection is what they have in common. So let me use a different color here. So it would be this region and to this region here. And you'll notice that here the negative two is included in the top set, but in the bottom set it's excluded. So they don't have negative two in common. So if you were to graph it, you would use again a parentheses. Likewise, the top set here does not include zero, but the bottom one does. So they don't have that in common, so we use a parentheses. And then we shade everything in between these sets, between these numbers, rather. And that would be the graph of the intersection. So the answer would be parentheses negative two comma zero parentheses. And that's it.